Hi friends, it's Rylan here, and we're going to be learning some of the fundamentals of statistics. That's right, we're going to be learning about three things, mean, median, and mode. Together with my friend Sam from Python Basics, I'm going to help you learn how to take these three things not only in one dimension, but in multiple dimensions. Alright, so I'm going to start IPython here, and I'm just going to paste in some data that I have. And let's look at the length of this data, and wow, it's 36. So yeah, that's not something we want to take the mean by hand. So if we import numpy as np, then we can type np.mean of the data, and voila, 4.36. That was very fast and awesome and we didn't have to do it by hand. But let's say data is an np.array, and let's go ahead and reshape this as a six by six. Let's say it's multiple, has multiple dimensions. So data here is now six rows by six columns. We can do np.mean of data the same way, 4.36 as we saw before. And we can take the mean of the data on a specific axis. In this case, let's do axis equals zero. And now we have the mean of every single column. So going down the columns, it's adding those together, dividing them by six, and that is the array that we get left over. Now let's do access equals one. Uh, okay, so this one is doing on taking the mean on the rows. So it's taking the mean on every single row. Okay, now I'm gonna pass over to my friend Sam from Python Basics. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and Rylan has asked me to join you guys and explaining median. So, first of all, nice to meet you guys, and Rylan, thank you for this opportunity. So let's just go ahead and get st started. So, all right, I've already put, I'm using the same list that Rylan has, and, and I'm going to talk about uh, median. So, quick lesson if you're not sure, median is the midpoint of a collection. All right, now it's not, it's not average, it's not mean. That may look like the average, but let me show you, that is an even, let me show you an odd collection. So if this was, this wouldn't be one. So, all right, it is the midpoint. So, all right, let's look at what median does with our list data. I get four. So, let me just show you real quick why. Let's do sort data. So, all right, the midpoint is literally right in between two fours, so that's why. So, all right, now let's put data oops, back in memory. Okay, it's our not unsorted list. So now, now I want to show you a argument, the axis argument that was in median. This is where NumPy becomes very, very handy and very, very powerful. So our data, NumPy array. There we go. So now I'm going to change the shape on this so we can see what all this does. Data dot shape. Let's do six by six. There we go. So all right, median data. Now we're going to take our optional axis. So let's look at what this does first. It takes, it accepts zero or one. Zero does our columns, says I want the median this way, and one goes the other way. So let's look at this. Boom. There we go. So this is a quick crash course in NumPy's 
median, and this is where this gets very powerful and very handy. So I'm going to tell you guys thanks for having me. Rylan, I appreciate this opportunity. This was very cool and very awesome. Uh, hopefully we can keep doing stuff like this. But as, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys next time. Okay, now let's look at our data again. It's already six by six, and we'll do from scipy.stats import mode. We're gonna learn how to use this mode function. Let's just type mode of our data, and you can see what results out is actually the mode of every single column. So in the first column, you see there's two threes, and it writes the number three as the mode with two in the count array. And you'll notice if you if you pay attention to this, it actually will give you the minimum if there's more than one that have the same count. So that's why you see a couple of ones there. And now let's do mode and let's specify an access. We'll do access equals one. So the previous one defaulted to access equals zero and this one access equals one is now doing the mode across every row. So you'll notice in the second row, there's two sevens and that's the mode. So in the second entry, it's a seven. And in the count array, the second entry is a two. Now let's say we want to take the mode of the entire array as it's flattened, or, or in other words, take it on none of the axes. There's two different ways to do this. We can type mode of np.ravel of the data, which if you look at np.ravel of data, that's just flattening the array. And that gives us the mode is four and that the count is six or equally as powerful or in the in the exact same way you can do mode of data of axis equals none and that data was still the six by six array and it spits out with axis equals none the same thing as it would with the flattened array meaning mode is four and count is six so there you have it that is how you can take the mean median and mode in python i want to shout out sam from python basics once again Please check out his channel with his awesome Python tutorials. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing for more Python tutorial content. Thank you.